Hey Raiders! Today is November 13th, 2020, and in this week's edition of Rio TV, we'll be watching a student's take on political debates in America, a video about if we return to school in January, a student's journey of filming one second a day every day, and finally, an informative video on how to work out and build up strength. Hi, my name is Brendan, and I made a video on the state of politics in the U.S. right now. Oh yeah, I took it there. Um... I'm Chris Wallace of Fox News. First of the 2020 presidential debates. No cheers, no booze. So we, and more importantly, you, can focus on what the candidates have to say. Oh, this is going to be great. I'm going to make sure. You were last in your class I, I, first. And can you let him finish, sir? No, he doesn't know how to do that. Did you use the word smart? You graduated either the lowest, the radical question, left. Would you who shut is up, on, man? Listen. Oh, America, we love our fights. I got faith in the next debate, though. And I welcome you to the final 2020 presidential debate. The goal is for you to hear each other. Abraham Lincoln here is one of the most racist presidents we've had in modern history. And where did that come in? I mean, he's banned Muslims because they're Muslims. Where did that? No, no. And made everything worse. The one said. that brought back football. By the way, I brought back China yeah. ate your lunch, Joe. Really? And I resent. Are you talking about Hunter? Hell. Are you talking about I'm Hunter? talking. Okay. Hold on. As much as I enjoy listening to those two bickering, debates aren't meant for that. They're meant to allow for discussion among your peers. So, settle down, and let's talk about what's wrong with this situation. Well, to begin, there's something wrong when you can't express your opinion or where you stand. It's literally a right. Free speech, to be exact. I understand that while I may not agree with your views, it's not fair to put someone down for what they believe in. In as controversial a time as these, we can't lose sight of what made this country what it is today. Discussion, unity, and open-mindedness. Both the Republicans and the Democrats have valid points on their views. This does not mean everyone who doesn't stand with you is against you. We are all Americans. This also means that we can't vilify each other based on views alone. Some parties are in the wrong for this. Now, I know that I can't change everything with words. I'm not trying to. I would just like everybody involved to be a little less tribalistic and a little more open-minded. And yes, yeah, some of those clips are out of context, but if that's all you got out of it, then you're missing the point. Hi, I'm Jake Glasgow, and here's my video on why we might not be going back to school in January for in-person learning. It's officially fall, the election is over, I just helped my sister move out of her apartment, and we're back into the purple. There have been talks about the possibility of going back to an in-person learning hybrid schedule for school in January. Personally, I'm not going back, but there are a few people who think in-person learning should start now. The problem is we're back in the purple and it could be weeks before we even have a chance to get into the red. If you take into account all the days until the end of the semester, the faith of that due date being far enough away becomes, is it too close? Starting off, we've made it past the first two weeks of November. From here, we have five instructional days until Thanksgiving break. After we return from that, there are only 15 days until winter break, and that's counting finals. With the spiking of cases, and flu season just being around the corner, and the threat of a second wave, it's really hard to say where we're at right now. Hi, I'm Hannah Jorgensen. I know this quarantine has been horrible for many of us. I feel fortunate that my family bubble kind of treated it as an opportunity to get outside and explore. So here's my summer. I hope you enjoy. I can almost see a house from here, but the signal seems to disappear. So what's the problem? Houston's calling. Then you hit me like a Friday night, like a handgun in a firefight. Dive in slow motion towards the ocean. Let's run away.
Hey, I'm Jaden, and this is how I've bulked up over quarantine. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do every morning is make your bed. So, because my bed is obviously made, you can also jump to the conclusion that I've already eaten something, brushed my teeth, and drank a glass of water, which are also things that you're gonna to wanna to do right when you wake up in the morning. Now, because I'm not training for just basic physical health, I take a supplement of creatine and pre-workout before every workout, about 20 minutes before I actually start working. So before you go to the gym or you start working out, you're going to want to have a gym bag or a workout bag and a plan for what you're going to want to do. So for me, I take a pair of goggles because I usually go early in the morning when it's cold and when I'm riding on my skateboard, the wind gets in my eyes and I start tearing up. I take a baklava, which is a mask that goes around your neck so I can go into the gym, my gym key, my workout plan, water, and the bag itself. Before I actually go, I want to reiterate the importance of drinking water before you go and eating something before you go. Eating something heavy in carbs is going to help you start and complete your workout without being super fatigued. Now the gym I go to takes about 10 minutes to get to on skateboard, but a gym is not necessary to maintain physical health. Now before you start working out, you're probably going to want to warm up with some push-ups, lunges, squats, and probably a two minute run. Now to start, I do the bench press, which is a step above the push-up. If you do push-ups, you can get the same result that I'm getting with the bench press. I just need more weight. Next, we have the squat. You can do this with no bar and no weight, as long as you keep the same form. This is the military press. This isn't necessary, but helpful for muscle size. Make sure you use a weight that you can handle. For additional lower body strength, you can do the deadlift. Now don't do this if you're already sore from the squat. The overhead push press will work the same muscles as military press, including your back. Make sure to use a weight that you can handle and push your head through the bar. Now, you're on from your workout, you're probably hungry. If you're trying to gain weight, you're gonna want one gram of protein for every pound of body weight you have, 0.4 grams of fat, and the rest in carbs. Now, to gain weight, you need to figure out how many calories you've burned in a day. Add three to 400 calories to that, and that's the amount of calories you need to consume in a day. Now, to lose weight, you're going to want 0.4 grams of protein, 0.2 grams of fat, and the rest in carbs. Now, to lose weight, you're going to want to find the amount of calories you've burned in a day, subtract that by three to 400, and then eat that amount of calories. For legal reasons, I must state that I am not a medical professional, and this is my basic understanding of nutrition and working out. If you have any questions, comments, or story ideas, make sure to email RaidersTVNews at gmail.com or DM RaidersTVNews on Instagram. Thanks for watching, Raiders!